Okie doke. So I am going to draw my James Rizzi cityscape. Remember a cityscape is a drawing or painting of a city. Today we're going to do a drawing of a city. If you were going to do a seascape, you'd be drawing or painting the ocean. Or a landscape, you'd be drawing or painting land. But today is a cityscape. So first thing I'm going to do is fold my paper in half because I don't need a full sheet and maybe we can use a half sheet for another lesson later. And I'm using that lovely white paper that went home with your workbooks a few weeks ago. I'm going to be brave today and I'm going to draw with my crayons instead of my pencil. And if I make a mistake, I'm going to figure out how to fit that mistake into my drawing. So first I'm going to go to the bottom of my paper here and draw a line straight up. And sometimes I like to practice with my finger before I do it because then I know which direction to go and I'm less prone to make a mistake. Then I'm going to go across like that, cross, and then I'm going to go straight down just like that straight down and that is my first that's going to be my first building okay and I think I'll put a fancy top on it I think I'll do maybe just a like a little triangle top up there for fun all right now James Rizzi um, always put little faces on his buildings and they were so fun to look at so I think I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to draw a couple windows like this up kind of the top and I'm going to turn these windows into eyes so these eyes are going to be right here and they're going to be looking at my other building that I'm going to draw in a little bit on this side and maybe some eyebrows some rectangle eyebrows kind of silly and you know James Rizzi like to make his artwork fun and playful and that's what we're trying to do today fun and playful so I'm going to give this um, building a smile just because, and a nose, like that, and um, a door, so you can get in and out. And I think I'm going to do a triangle door to match the triangle top. So I have my first building. You can add more designs to it if you want. You can add some other things. Maybe you want to add some second windows down here. It doesn't matter. Your building doesn't have to look like mine, all right? So there's my James Rizzi building number one with a happy face on it. I want to do buildings on either side. So I'm going to teach you a little art teacher trick right now. You do not have to draw another line going up because in the city buildings are very close together and they can share a wall sometimes. So I'm going to let my next building share this wall. So all I really have to do is draw a line across. Just across like that. Okay? Just across. And then I can go down over here. Just like that. And this is my second building and this building is going to be a little bit different this building I'm feeling kind of playful and I'm going to give it circle windows and I'm going to make it kind of a kooky crazy building like it's not sure what's going on okay and maybe it's a baby building it's just a little building it only has one tooth and I'll give it a door you know I forgot to put a doorknob over here so let me add a doorknob there and this one maybe has two doorknobs it's like a little fancier door like that and for the top of this building I think I'm going to do a little circle and a line because I'm going to make it look like it's wearing a little beanie hat like this there we go it's kind of silly fun stuff all right so that's my second silly building I'm going to put two diagonal lines on it again your building does not have to look like mine your building can look any way you want it to look and now I have a little tiny space left over here. It's so small, but I think I can fit another building in there. I really do, a skinny one. And I don't need to draw a line down, and I don't need to draw another line down on this side. I just need to draw a line across, a little bit lower than this building, just straight across. There we go. There's That's going to be my itty-bitty building. And I think this building is going to be a kitty cat building because I just feel like I need a kitty cat building. So I'm going to draw two lines. I'm going to draw. I'll tell you my secret to drawing a cat face. First, I do two lines like that. Then I do two lines that go down in the middle, in here and here, and then I connect them. That's my kitty cat eyes right there. Kitty cat eyes. And then I do a line across the bottom. And the letter V, that's my kitty cat nose. Hello, kitty cat. 
So I have a kitty cat belly now. And for me, it's going to be a girl kitty cat because that's what I'm feeling today. And I'll do a door for my kitty cat house. There we go. So not too bad. I've got three buildings. I got room for a few more over here. So I'm going to do that same little thing that I did before. I'm not going to draw a new line. I'm just going to draw a line straight across and over so they can share. They can share this one. And then I'm going to go straight down. And hmm, what is the top? That one's going to have kind of a funny, crazy top, I think. Maybe almost looks like hair. And hmm, let me do some rectangles. I haven't done rectangles yet. And I'm going to say these two buildings are looking at each other. See how I put their little circles? He's facing that way. He's facing that way. And here's the eyebrow for that building. We got a unibrow. There we go. And I think I'm going to make this one a monster building. I'm going to get the monster teeth. And we learned how about monster teeth are just upside down V's and this building I feel like it wants a bow tie. Now I'm doing this to my buildings. Your buildings don't have to look like mine. They can look any way you want them to look. It does not matter what your buildings look like compared to mine. They can be very 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 different because you are a different artist than me. I've got one little room here for another skinny building. I'm going to do that thing where I just do a line straight across again. Just straight across. I'm not going to worry about drawing a line up and then over or back down. Just straight across. These buildings are all sharing walls. And for that one, I think I'm going to do, I'm going to build it up like this just for fun. And it's going to be kind of like a, the top of the building is going to be like a birthday cake with a candle. I'm just feeling silly today. And um, I think I will do a pair of glasses on this building. <laughs> just to be silly. And maybe some crazy hair like that. Um, I think maybe a fun smile. And then a simple little door. There we go. So now I have all of my buildings drawn. I can also add details in the background if I want. Maybe I want a crazy looking sun or a happy looking sun or whatever you want. There you go. Maybe some fluffy clouds. James Rizzi's art almost look like cartoons. So I can make very simple clouds. And um, I think that's pretty good. I think I'm done with the drawing part. So the next challenge is the coloring part. And I want you to listen very close because when you color, I want you to color in different sections and no scribble scrabbling. So for example, if I want the top of this building red, I want to take my time and color it very neatly. I don't want to scribble scrabble through this lesson. I'm going to take my time and color all around, neat and tidy, okay? Um, and I can change my colors as often as I want. Maybe I want this building to be blue. But notice that I am coloring around my eyebrows and around my window. I am not coloring through them, and I'm not coloring with big motions. My hand is just moving a little bit, and that will give you really, really good control of your crayons if your hand is only moving a little bit, okay? So I would love for you to take the rest of this time to finish coloring your buildings. You may switch your colors out as often as you want. You may add many different colors to buildings as often as you want, but really take your time when you're coloring. So I have a building, uh, I have a drawing that's a little bit bigger that's already done and I wanna share it with you. Because as you can see, when I was coloring my buildings, I did color around areas. I didn't color through. So the lips are pink and the building is blue. The lips aren't also blue. I colored around them. And this, this drawing looks a little bit different. You know, I added a few more things in the sky, which you can add whatever you want to. I made it half day and half night. Maybe you want to try that as well. Um, so you can do whatever you want with your buildings. They should have little faces. 
They should have little doors. But other than that, you get to choose what you get to do because you are the artist. And when you are done with your James Rizzi cityscape, with your fun little buildings and their faces, if you could please upload it through your Canvas page so I can give you credit for your work, but also, most importantly, so I can see your wonderful work. Well done.